What's up guys? It's a gorgeous uh, spring day in Alaska and today's the day I'm gonna go and pull uh, all the rest of my traps. So it's my last check of the year. I'm excited. I'm hoping uh, with any luck we'll have something in them. Maybe uh, maybe uh, more than a Martin, we'll see. But uh, it's a gorgeous day to go flying. The weather's a little, uh, it'll be like borderline getting out there. Um, but I think I'll be able to drop in at uh, some point. I've got, uh, I'm gonna finish off the fuel that I have stashed out there too. So shouldn't be an issue, but um, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, the season, you know, is kind of winding down, but it's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun and I've, uh, I've enjoyed it, learned a lot. And uh, yeah, so we'll see that today is kind of the last fruits of the labor. Uh, and so it should be, should be a fun day to be out there. back at my fuel stash here I'm gonna add some gas uh, this should give me plenty to get uh, to finish checking the traps and then to also uh, get back so I uh, know she's there but yeah I ended up I really didn't actually use the fuel as much as I thought I would this year um, so I have 15 gallons left um, so I'm, yeah this will just give me a nice little cush cush uh, amount of fuel for the way home but uh, it's, I did have a little bit of a headwind on the way out here um, and so I'm kind of filling up now and then I'll, I'll check uh, some more of the traps when I, um, after this. So my original plan was to fill up at the very end, but uh, it's not, not really a huge deal. So uh, finally, uh, with the siphoning hose, this is gonna work the best it's worked so far this year because the, the snow has gotten so deep that from when I originally stashed these, you can see kind of where that fuel bag is. It's probably sitting, I don't know, at least a foot uh, deeper. So finally get a, the siphoning hose and gravity on my side here. Alrighty guys, made it to the first spot finally. So uh, I ended up having to kind of bust through uh, not really through the clouds. It was just more of like a, a probably a hundred foot layer of haze. Essentially, I was like flying down and I could see the shoreline, but it was definitely just an overcast, almost looked just like an overcast layer. So I kind of did like a 360 spiral uh, down as long as I could keep the shoreline in sight. And, uh, and then I busted through and I was probably like 2,500 feet or so above the, uh, above the trees. So I was pretty stoked because when I got... Uh, got over here and it was just overcast uh i was like you got to be stinking kidding me and there's not really any cameras out here um so it's really hard to check uh but i'm gonna go with the new setup today i uh brought with my skis instead of snowshoes so these have these are my this is my backcountry skiing setup uh, and i've got skins on the bottom so it's kind of like a one-way track so they will only go forward they won't really slide back and then i've just been uh flying in my boots so I'm just going to clip into these and I don't, I actually don't have too far to go. I just have, uh, right over here. And then, uh, my next spot, uh, it's a little bit further, uh, trek. So I'm going to get this one checked quick. You know, who knows, maybe there'll be something in it and, uh, we'll see. Extremely fast. So let's see if we got anything. Really tell what I'm looking at here. Oh boy, we might be might be buried down there. Oh, there's my trap. Dang it. Oh, there it is. Nothing. Son of a gun. Alright, well nothing in this one. That's kind of a bummer. But free snacks. I uh deactivated the trap. I'm gonna leave it here i kind of hung it up i'll have no problem finding this again next year but i'm gonna leave the bait you know worst case something comes in they eat all the bait uh and then hopefully you know they just kind of grow used to getting a little snack here and maybe next year i'll have some luck uh actually getting them in the trap but 
there's the old plane some deep powder out here uh, the next spot i'm actually a little nervous going into i know it's uh historically it's the last two times i've been in there the powder can be can be really deep <laughs> Gotta be honest, these skis are so much better. Um, you can see I landed here, and one thing I was gonna point out, uh, you know, I'm not really trying to do like super, super short landings here. Like I actually, when I touch down, I actually carry a little bit of extra speed. So you might notice on some of these landings when I'm coming into this, where it's just I, I'm kind of expecting it to be really deep powder. I actually want to try to keep my speed up. That way I can like put in an actual little racetrack for my takeoff uh, when I have to go and do that because I don't really want to touch down and end up getting too slow where I have to dig myself out so that's kind of the reason I carry a little bit extra on some of them but alrighty let's see if we got anything here oh my trap is off so the bait is hanging like a boss Oh, there's some tracks actually. Got a Martin. All right, boys, officially on the board. Got a Martin in the 330. I was really hoping that it was uh, going to be a Wolverine, but hey, a kill is a kill. That's what I always say. So uh, the Wolverine in this area are gonna live to see another day or another year anyways. Yeah, it's about a hundred times better than the old snowshoes. I, I can tell just, I'm not like sweating at all coming out here. So, I am loving this. Let's do this. I even parked a little further away just so I could get a little more ski in. Yeah. Oh shoot. It almost looks like something, uh, or maybe actually I don't really know but dang it the uh, trap's still there nothing no shortage of tracks so there's tracks all over right in here so obviously there's probably been I don't know links that's what I got in this trap last time so yeah look at just look at all the tracks going through here this was kind of a major intersection, what it looks like from the air. And that's kind of why I decided to set a trap, but didn't get anything. Bummer. Who'd have thought I'd be skiing and trapping, just combining two awesome things.
there's definitely a lot of tracks in here. Not really sure what it is, but we're about to find out. Jeez, what the heck's going on out here? There's like beds or something, or something's been digging. I always like it when it's like this. I don't even know. Oh, here, here we go. Here's actually the trap right here. So something got in it. Looks like took off to try to make a break for it. And it came to right here. So let's see what we got. We got nothing. Maybe we got a... <laughs> huh. Well, that's interesting. So I wonder if... Something maybe pulled out of it? Dang it. Either that or the, uh, you know, one of these logs might have just fallen down on it and set it off. But actually, I don't think so because just where it's at, I mean, it was way up there. So something must have maybe got their hand in it, paw in it, and then, uh, yeah, and then pulled out. I'm just going to kick in here just, just to make sure. But I'm kind of curious what went down here, guys. Not really sure, but you can see, I mean, there's yellow pea right here. So obviously I think something got caught in it, trying to get up in that corner where the bait was. And then they, you know, pulled back, couldn't get out. Must've been caught in it with its paw. And then eventually they just pulled out of it. So that's really interesting. And that would also maybe explain if it was potentially injured you know, there might, that might be why there's other, a couple other like little beds right in here too. I'm not sure what these are, but I just know that they weren't here the last time I was here. So kind of interesting. Dang it. I'm actually in a little bit of overflow here and it's not too bad. You can see my skis are, are totally on top of the snow. So that's kind of the main thing to me now. If they were sinking in like the other time I was out here, I'd be a lot more concerned, but I know that they're not going to like freeze in or anything. So uh, thankfully I'm just on the ground in such a short time. So hop in and go check the next one. It's kind of a, kind of a disappointment to be honest with you. I can't quite figure out what happened there, but we definitely had something in the trap. I just can't see that trap being pulled so far away from where it was without a, you know, an animal pulling it away. So uh, I guess he uh, lives to see another day. <laughs> Guys, nothing in this one either. Although there are some fresh tracks coming up, so or at least they look fresh. Dang it. Unbelievable. I wonder, this one, I, I've, of all the ones that I had out, this one was the one I was the most optimistic about. So that's definitely a bummer. Um, you know, I got one in here already this year, so I can't be too disappointed, but uh, yeah, definitely a little bit of a bummer. That's a bummer. I got one left to go. So we'll see if we can uh, get something. That Martin's starting to look pretty stinking good right now. Since I'm leaving uh, these traps up, because I mean, I, I got something in this this year. So my, my mindset is that, you know, it's not a bad set. Uh, I'm just going to leave the bait right there. I kind of undid it in the back. But ideally, some, you know, a Wolverine or something would come in here and try to get it. And they would recognize, hey, it's in a bucket. But they get it for free because there's no trap. So um, kind of building up a little confidence. So maybe next year when they come back and see some bait in the same bucket, they'll just go on in and uh, get whacked. So that's the plan here. I just landed at my last spot. So um, this actually was the place that I had landed and it had a bunch of, it had overflow last week. So 
what I did is I just came in, I touched down, I basically did a big loop, and then I came back to see if my tracks were, if there was actually, a, you know, water showing on my tracks. And there, and there wasn't any, so I knew, uh, or I, I didn't know, but I figured there wouldn't be overflow. And then when I hopped out, I just kind of kicked the snow away to sort of confirm it. But in doing so, I decided I would try landing just a little bit more out in the open. Um, I don't know what it was last time I was here, but it seemed like there was, uh, it seemed like the snow, it was like, there was like some type of dividing line. I don't know if it was, a, it, it definitely wasn't a shadow, but I, I, don't, I don't know if it was deeper snow over here, if it was because of the overflow. It just looked contrasted a little bit to me. And so I elected to land on the other spot today and just try it out. But because of that, I've got a, you know, a nice little trek with the old skis. So, although I can tell the trap is not on the bucket, so it's possible something got on it. I see some big tracks. There's some tracks coming down in my buckets right there. I can't tell if those go to it or not, but they're definitely uh, some tracks and the trap is not on it. So let's see. God, come on, baby. Okay. Oh no, it slid down again. I think it's a... Uh, uh, this check was was uh, very, very anticlimactic. I got one Martin. You know, I got one Martin, so that was it. So, I mean, obviously it was fun just to come out and fly and see the sights, but uh, I'd be lying if I didn't think I was going to have at least a Wolverine. So, no Wolverines. Um... It looks like I had potentially one in a trap that kind of pulled out of it somehow. It might've got his paw stuck. And then this one just totally looks like it almost fell down again and uh, never, never went off. So uh, very, very disappointing, but it is trapping. And uh, the one nice thing about that is the skinning will be quick. So no, no issues with that. That's a, uh, that's a wrap for the season. So I think I ended up with five Wolverine, three Lynx, and around 25 Martin. So not too shabby. At the very beginning of the year, my goal, you know, maybe it was a dumb goal because I, I think it was a little lofty now, but my goal is 25 Martin, five Wolverine, five Lynx. So overall, I'm really happy. Uh, this is kind of something I've always dreamt of doing since I was a little kid. And, uh, you know, to actually be able to have the time and uh, to be able to come out and and pull it off and actually be successful and learn some things, many things. Uh, it was a lot of fun. So looking forward to November 1st. That's when uh, the trapping opens up again in Alaska and a lot of the areas. So uh, I'll be back then with, uh, with some more action, hopefully. Rewarding, you know, experience because it is, it does take a little bit of work. It's not just like super easy and, and I kind of like that so it's nice to have to work uh, and put in some time and you know thankfully the fruit of the labor is that you end up with uh, some cool furs at the end of the year so that's kind of where I'm sitting right now and I'm pretty pretty happy pretty excited so I'm back at the plane and uh, yeah I'm gonna head back it's been a great year